Hi guys, today I want to introduce the MakeBlock app. So I've got with me an MBOT and I have my iPad. Bear in mind that it has to be a Bluetooth version of the MBOT so that the MBOT can communicate with the iPad. So I'm going to open up my iPad, I'm going to turn my MBOT on. And here is the MakeBlock app. So I'm going to open that up. And if you see in the top right hand corner here, there's a Bluetooth icon which is flashing. On the MBOT, on the Bluetooth chip, there is also a blue light that is flashing. So that means they are not connected. To get them connected, I need to press the Bluetooth flashing icon and then simply hold the pad close to the robot. Let me try again. Okay, so it opens up and then you hold them close together and they connect automatically. Then it goes into this screen and there are a few different programs which are uh, default programs. So these ones with M plus in the top right hand corner, these are for the add-on packs. And then there's these two programs with just the M in the top right hand corner. These are for the standard kit, the standard MBOT kit. So one's called MBOT and the other is called Music Spirit. So I'm going to open up the MBOT default program and in here there are six different icons on the main screen. So two of them, this one the ultrasonic and this one the brightness are feedback from the sensors on the MBOT. So you can see if I hold my hand close to the ultrasonic sensors then the number goes right down so it's eight, seven, seven centimeters. If, if I pull my hand away now it's 36, 40, and the maximum is 400 along. There's a wall there, so the distance is 230-ish. For the brightness, this is the feedback from that. So at the moment it's around 1,000. If I put my hand over the MBOT, then you can see it drops right down to about 300. Move my hand away again, and it goes back up to about 1,000. The random slider here controls the LEDs on top of the MBOT. So if I turn it on, the LEDs on the MBOT will just turn to different colours, different random colours. The buzz button simply buzzes the buzzer. And this controls the movement of the MBOT. The last button that I want to show you is the sprint button. Be careful when you press this button though because the MBOT will run forward full speed for a good few seconds. So press this and the MBOT runs forward. So that's the introduction to the MakeBlock app. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Construct your dreams.